In this video, you're going to learn about the triangle proportionality theorem and its converse. And we're going to go through three examples together. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you where the triangle proportionality theorem comes from. And we'll look at that in detail. So first, the triangle proportionality theorem, what it tells us is if you draw a line segment that's parallel to the base of a triangle, it splits this side into two segments and this side into two segments in a proportion such that A is to B as the ratio of C is to D. Now, some books and some places will call this the side splitting theorem because this segment here, or this line, is splitting the two sides into two segments. So like side splitting theorem, but uh, the formal name is the triangle proportionality theorem. So let's see if we can use this, but I also want to mention to you the property of proportions because some teachers will explain this in a slightly different format. Like I'm saying A is to B as C is to D. Some teachers will say A is to C as B is to D. So how are they saying that this ratio is the same as this ratio? Well, remember when you learn about proportions, you can interchange these variables on the diagonal because when you cross multiply, see how I get AD equals BC? Same thing here, A times D equals B times C. Multiplication is commutative, it doesn't matter to the order. The other thing you can do too is you can take the reciprocal of both sides. So you could say the ratio of B to A is the same as D to C. All I did was flip both of these uh, fractions over. So again, you can, um, you can do this in different ways. What you don't want to do is you don't want to do like A is to D as B is to C, something like that where you're crisscrossing. But again, I like to just keep it simple. A is to B as C is to D, make a proportion and solve. So for number one, you can see that this arrow indicates that these lines are parallel. This line is basically splitting these two sides into two segments. And I know the ratio of three to two must be equal to the ratio of four to X. Okay, now all we have to do is cross multiply. So that's gonna be three X is equal to eight. And if I divide both sides by three, X is equal to eight thirds, or you could say two and two thirds if you wanna write it as a mixed number. Okay, for number two, how would you do this one? Again, notice that this uh, line segment is parallel to the base of the triangle. It splits up these two sides of the triangle into two segments. We can say A is to B as C is to D, okay? All we have to do is cross multiply, so we get four X is equal to 15, divide both sides by four, and X equals 15 fourths, or you could say three and three fourths if you wanna write that as a mixed number. Now for number three, we're looking at the triangle proportionality, the converse of the triangle proportionality theorem. And what that says is that if we wanna show that CD is parallel to EF, then the ratio of X to two has to be the same as X minus two is to one. So let's go ahead and set up that proportion, X is to two, as x minus two is to one, let's cross multiply. So x times one is x. Uh, two times x minus two is equal to two x minus four if we distribute the two. Uh, subtract two x from both sides. That gives us negative x equals negative four. Divide both sides by negative one, and x is equal to four. So let me erase the whiteboard. I wanna show you where this triangle proportionality theorem comes from so you can understand it a little bit better. Okay, so where does this triangle proportionality theorem come from? Well, usually before you learn about the triangle proportionality theorem, you learn about similar triangles. Like how do you prove that two triangles are similar to each other? And remember, there's uh, three different ways. There's the angle-angle similarity, there's the side-side-side similarity, and then there's the side-angle-side similarity. Well, remember from geometry, when you, you draw this line parallel to the base, these angles right here, are what we call corresponding angles, and they're gonna be congruent. And same thing here, these two angles are corresponding. See, upper left-hand corner, upper left-hand corner, this is like a transversal, those are gonna be congruent. You could also see that uh, this angle and this little triangle is congruent to this angle and the big triangle by the reflexive property. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna split these two triangles apart. I'm gonna draw them separately. I'm gonna draw the little triangle, the one at the top here, this is gonna be A and C. I'm gonna draw the bigger triangle, Okay, this is gonna be A plus B if I add those together to get this side. So we'll say A plus B, and then this side here is gonna be C plus D. And again, you can see that these angles are congruent. So we know these triangles are similar by the angle-angle similarity, 
okay? And so that means that the corresponding sides are proportional. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match this left side of this big triangle to the left side of this little triangle. Let's write that as A plus B is to A. And that's gonna be in the same ratio as the right side of this big triangle is to the right side of this little triangle. Okay, so now we have a proportion. But look what we can do here. We can actually split this up. We could say A divided by A, which is one, plus B divided by A, is equal to C divided by C, which is one, plus D divided by C, okay? And so now, if we subtract one from both sides of this equation, we get B divided by A is equal to D divided by C. Now remember what we talked about earlier in this video about the uh, properties of proportions. We can take the reciprocal as long as we do it to both sides. So that's gonna be A over B is equal to C over D, and that's what we have right here. So that's our uh, triangle proportionality theorem. So instead of having to split the two triangles apart, you know, add these two segments and these two segments, and then make a proportion using the, uh, you know, the fact that the two triangles are similar by angle angle, we can use this theorem, the triangle proportionality theorem or the side splitting theorem to just say A is to B as C is to D, and you can make a proportion and solve for the missing quantity. So I hope you're able to follow the examples in this video. If you wanna go deeper into geometry, join as a channel member at the additional videos level on Mario's Math Tutor YouTube channel. I've got my entire geometry course on there. It consists of 11 longer videos, basically chapter style videos, going through all the different theorems, example problems, et cetera, taking you through a typical uh, geometry course. So I'll put a link in the description below. Um, you can also just uh, join as a channel member on my channel page. I look forward to seeing my other videos and uh, I'll see you soon.